response video, I guess, to the virtuous pornographer. Uh, did a video, did respond to a video on the website. Hasn't even made it to YouTube yet. Um, and he's finding us rather boring. Well, anyway, I'll go to the video. I'll just do parts of it. Gary, you know, rehashing the same old, same old shit because really he doesn't have anything new. He, there's a limit to his intellectualism, you know? The stuff that he's thought about in his little room in his hippie hovel uh, <laughs> that he has a good grasp on is what he deals with. And if you try to deal with anything else other than what he's already thought about, you just, he goes off in another world, just like this bullshit. <clears throat> well, that's not really not what's happening. Um, yeah, there's conclusions, you know? And it's like the people, humanity, has been living this thing. They've been chasing the cheese for a long time, 10,000 years. And, uh, you know, it, what is there to say? I mean, there's, it's, it's obviously been rather stupid. There's been a lot of nonsense and idiocy going on, and it's kind of simple. The, you know, the conclusions of the philosophy are kind of simple. Yeah, we're just desire machines. We're just chasing. Uh, maybe we should do that in a better way. The end. So, yeah, the message isn't that complicated. Um, but there's still plenty of people like you who want to distract from the message, you know, and talk about some sort of um, magic and that's all you're really doing you just want to keep making the, the cheese chase make sense that he's talking about now about how there's no life the Stephen Hawking's bullshit how there's no other life in the universe that's what that fucking retard in that wheelchair talks about it's supposed to be some great science knows all about the universe going to sit there and say there's no life in the universe, there's no other intelligent life in the universe. Yeah, well, look, he says a lot of things, you know, and then he says one thing, and then three months later he says something else, because I had the exact opposite criticism of him, uh, because he does support flying around in the universe looking for this stuff, um, our, our colonizing space, and the rest of that nonsense, and that doesn't make any sense. He's a fucking physicist. He should know the, the uh, obstacles to getting any human being anywhere very far in space are just monumental. Um, but I think it's just an idea of, you know, it's a way to spend more money on physics, and, you know, he's in the physics business, so he gets more money. <laughs> but whatever. Um, so, what? yeah, I mean, it's really not about Stephen Hawking's, and it's not about me, it's about the subject, and you can never stay on the subject. And so, yeah, let's talk about the probability of there being life on another planet. Let's talk about what happened on this planet. Um, but you don't do it in any detail. You just do it in this this way, this let's insult somebody way. And it's just kind of pointless, isn't it? I mean, how is that elevating the debate? Or how is that taking the debate anywhere rational? Gary now is saying that there's no, you know, it's like a lottery. You know, we're the winners of the lottery and the chances that anybody else in the, this vast ocean of space and stars, there's no other life out there. Uh, yeah, well, that's not what I said, but I'm just saying that it's a huge... There's, the, all we know for sure is that it doesn't happen easy. Okay, that's it. We can't draw any conclusions. We don't know how how difficult it was because we don't have the 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 diagram we don't have the blueprint of what happened here to know exactly how impossible it was and it could have been literally really bizarre it could have been 700 lightning strikes in a row in the same place or some other preposterously unique circumstance that made it possible for uh, this reproducing membrane and this DNA blueprint molecule to combine. And that's really what was required here. There had to be almost a reproducing membrane cell uh, that was already functional in reproducing itself and the DNA molecule fully formed and ready to do its duplicating thing. And those two had to combine in such a way as that they worked together, okay, by, by accident. <laughs> And uh, it's just not that simple. It's not something that's going to happen. You can you can swash around amino acids in a beaker forever, and you're not going to sit there and throw a cell together. It doesn't happen simple and easy. It's a complex process that had to do to get to the first stage. Okay, and we call that life, but really, you know, there's a big difference between a single cell organism and a human being. And there's a whole nother 
you know, chain of events that you have to go through to get to the human thing, you know, where you have this reflexive central nervous system, you have consciousness, the ability to feel, you have sensation. I mean, come on, these are all things that may or may not happen in an evolutionary process. And some of them can only happen under very specific circumstances. Sit there in your room, smoke your dope, and think about economics and politics, and, and because it's, it's stuff of, of random substance, of shallow substance. You know, you can think about fake money and pretty much get it right. There's nothing real there. I mean, you can't get it wrong. There's nothing real there to begin with. <laughs> well, you know, that's rather insulting. I mean, economics really was kind of complicated. I mean, the figuring out the life thing was easier for me. I did that when I was still a teenager. Figuring out the economics thing, that took a long time. It's hard to figure out how all this money goes around and comes around and, you know, what is it really made out of and all that shit. That, that wasn't, that doesn't just fall on you. That isn't just, you don't look at the system and it doesn't become obvious where the flaws are. You really have to pick at it and figure it out. So, you know kind of a stupid criticism. You know, politics is the same. You can go this way or that way with politics. You argue about it all day one. It doesn't matter. One side's going to say they're right, another side's going to say they're right. You know, it all comes down to will. Whoever has the will to assume authority is going to win. Well, I think it's a little more than that. It's a persuasive argument. That's what part of making these videos is about, is, is refining the argument. It's not about making it. It's not bringing up a new subject every day. No, it's articulating a, a, a logic or a rationale, an explanation. Um, it's a presentation art form here a little bit and so part of this whole thing isn't just the conclusions it isn't just the philosophy it isn't just the politics it isn't just what you're saying it's how you're saying it it's refining the argument making it persuasive all right and that's part of what we're trying to do here and if you don't find it if you find it dull and boring and uninteresting well then fine move move on to whatever your next agenda is but it's got somebody's got to do this hard part this hard part of making a real argument not just some let me put on a stupid hat and, you know, say a bunch of outrageous shit and somehow that's going to solve the problem because that isn't going to do it. Narrow spectrum to where this planet can form in orbit around this star to where the temperature on this planet is such that it maintains a liquid water on its surface. Yeah, well, you can't even say it's necessarily water. It might be ammonia. I mean, maybe ammonia and water mixed and alcohol and a few other chemicals. I mean, it's not just one chemical that makes life happen. All right? It was a sea, a soupy sea of, of, of chemistry that, that made life possible. And that requires a very specific environment. And, and you're still, like I said, there's no, we're not arguing um, does it or doesn't it. We're arguing, well, yeah, is it... Um, is it simple? Does the chemistry happen routinely? And I just, I would argue to you, there's lots of arguments to point out that it doesn't happen routinely. I mean, life, I mean, Earth has been sloshing around a long time, and there's no other competing life form. There's nothing else but DNA life. Okay. Shit, when you say they haven't done the experiments, or they've done, they have done the experiments. <laughs> they've done the experiments where they've re I didn't say they haven't done the experiments. What I said is they haven't we haven't recreated a reproducing molecule, all right? We haven't been able to figure out that, that whatever it is, that scenario, that um, configuration that allows this, the reproducing membrane and the DNA thing to combine in, in, a, in a functional way. Because that's what's really happening in a cell, okay? You, gotta re you know, when, the, when a cell divides, it, it, it's not only transferring DNA, it's transferring the mechanism, okay, the cellular mechanism. The membrane goes with it, okay, and, and the mechanics that maintain the DNA molecule go with it. So it's not just a, a DNA molecule. It's a membrane and some functional parts are the required constituents to have a reproducing cell. 100% chance that somewhere out there, there is life. Because <clears throat> yeah, well, so you just can't say that. You can't, all right? Because you just don't know how fucking difficult it was. And you can keep saying that. Um, I mean, I'd say that. Yeah, the the you know it happened here, and that's you know we're going to be we're going to be influenced by that. All right, the fact that it did happen here, 
and it's going to prejudice our perception because we're going to say, well, if it happened here, it can happen someplace else. But the, the bottom line is, the factual truth is, we can't know that yet, not until we see how difficult it is, how difficult, how bizarre the circumstances have to be for a goddamn, the, the, those two elements I was speaking about, the DNA and the, the membrane combining, um, how difficult that is to cause. Right, well, anyway, summing up, um, yeah, it's just, well, you, every one of your videos is, you know, so much crap and so little substance. I mean, you make little tiny, you know, one, two sentence rational argument and the rest of it is just this, this theater. So, I mean, it's really hard to debate theater. I mean, it's a nice art form, but it's not, you know, you can't really have a philosophical debate.